Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, it is a channeled love reading, love message for all of you, okay? This is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for you. This is the message that you are looking for. This is the message that is calling you to hear, to listen. Um, so this is a love reading for you guys. I'll start with like a based energy and then let us see how they feel towards you, how they think about you, their thoughts, their feelings, their intention, okay? You've got the yin and the yang, okay? This is a love reading. This is an open message, so do think about your person, think about your romantic situation. Let's see what is your love message. I'm tapping into real time, okay? What's their thoughts? What is their feelings, please? Okay, all right, let's start the reading. This is freestyle, whatever comes up, you know. Think about them, visualize them. Ooh, so the first reading, it is applicable for the divine feminine. Okay, so uh, the first reading is applicable for the divine feminine. This is a very romantic connection, okay? Um, what's coming in is a very romantic person. This is a very romantic person. This is a very romantic connection. In fact, you know, when you met them or dated them or when you were in a relationship with them, it is very healing. They taught you how to love. They break your wall. It's very romantic. You could be dealing with this person right now. Um, very romantic. The, the first reading is applicable for a divine feminine. Um, for some of you, it's a person that you're dealing with right now. It could be like a dating or getting to know. Um, oh, you want this person so badly. Okay. I think the red flag with this person is that they're very romantic. They're very charming. This person is very romantic, very charming. You could be dating to... You could be dating this person right now. You're manifesting this person. You're like, you're manifesting a lifetime with them. You're manifesting marriage with them. You're manifesting the love of your life, you know, with this person. They're moving slow. The block is that they're moving slow. Very romantic, very charming. And look, um, there's number three. And there's three and four. So I'm getting a vibe that, because four is, number four, stability. And there's a number three and number three is like it's um it's not very exclusive so one of the red flag i'm getting with this person it's not very exclusive yet and it's quite slow yeah um also this person is probably navigating life and like this person is very flamboyant it could also be like an ex it's possible that you're dealing with this person right now it's possible that this is an ex that you're dealing with them right now or recently. I'm also getting like this is a person who it could be an ex that you know right now they're single. Okay. It's very romantic. Um, it could be something beginning. Okay. Or it could be a person that you're manifesting. It might have fallen out between the two of you or it's very slow. It's like, it's like this person made you feel so brand new very romantic but they never pursued a commitment with you and the reason why this person did not exclusively went towards a commitment because you know it's a feeling of they just got out of they just got out of a relationship and they want to be like they want to keep on like they want to navigate more in life like um i think it might you know, I'm seeing the sharpness of this mountain. So there's a feeling of, you could be feel. You, there's a feeling that this person might have, because they're overly romantic to you, it might have felt like frustrated from your part because they're so romantic that you want to be together. It's like, I want you. You're so good, romantic. You break my wall. You healed me. Uh, you make me feel like you're the love of my life. So I want you. So you probably grab this person and maybe you were kind of frustrated to get them to connect with you in a commitment way um maybe that is where the red flag do it's, it's that they you know they 
they pull away because of that pressure but it's I'm really getting like this person one of the red flag is that it's slow and they want to navigate they want more they don't want to be they don't want commitment they want romance open romance it's like they want to get get to know you they want to romanticize you they want to get to know you they don't want to define commitment it looks like with the spirituality and maturity for them it's gonna happen when it's when it's gonna happen it's gonna happen like very flamboyant very spontaneous and also exploring experimenting like this person it's like a flame they keep dancing okay they're not exclusive with anybody right now so this is not a third party yeah x look at that x this person is not exclusive with anybody they like being romantic they like to go out it feels like this person is finally free from something connected in the past so they're enjoying their life they want romance but not yet fully committed like um they don't want exclusivity because it's gonna limit them if they went exclusive with you they feel like it's going to limit their options and i feel like this person as well uh, they're kind of taking a break from a big commitment but it doesn't mean that they won't commit it's just that they feel like they have some layers that they kind of need to explore okay the thing with this person is that yep it's they they made you feel brand new they romanticize you they did not commit but when you were together amazing you are you know it's it's a vibe where yep we're not together but when we were together i had an amazing time i had a romantic adventure so it was worth it whether you're together or still going or not together um it's just this person is like does not want pressure and if it's gonna happen with spiritual maturity it's gonna happen it's pro it's possible like yeah knight of swords they were quick to dismiss the commitment it's possible that this person told you like look i like you but i don't want a commitment you know and people can do that we just really have to have a strong resilience with detachment and expectation i don't think this person means to hurt you they're just like this they're just into the romantic the getting to know and exploring life without commitment there's something with commitment that it's going to limit them okay see like what i told you guys you have someone who is so good to be a lover also a partner stability wise this is so good but all they want right now is to spend time into dating you will enjoy this person eventually this person um, will secure you but it might take some time this is number eight so it could be happening right now look at that they want the dating um I would say they don't want to be pressured yeah, this person is like maybe they've gone through in life like this person they've gone through some crazy life problem that they they don't they will pull away if it's pressured if it's overtaking if it's going to give them drama okay yeah they also would like intimacy this person is also very intimate the thing is even though it's like an open relationship you won't be disappointed with their performance as a lover as someone you're dating you know um it's like just keep me we'll go secure i it's it's there's no timeline but i'm really getting like we'll get there but let's date you know yeah let's work on our compatibility it's possible that you're not talking to this person right now um it's possible that this person and yourself stop talking to each other but they have a plan i'm really getting a strong energetic download intuitive download that you will bump into them like it's not a coincidence um i'm getting like this person you would see them in a cafe a place where you go you would bump into them it's not a coincidence they really went there to somehow see you or this person might it's just funny you're, you're not going to be annoyed when this person shows up out of the blue in a place that you visit they're all smiling it their smile like the smile that they will give to you it looks like they miss you they will smile like when you see them they don't 
they don't <laughs> like when you see them it doesn't look like they're worried or stressed but they're just all smile it's not a coincidence they went there to see you for some of you you're not talking to this person and they're scared to approach you so they're gonna send you an image to make you laugh there's something funny about this person so they're gonna reach out but it's very unconventional way it's unconventional it's unconventional it's sweet it out like this person is gonna reach out something unconventional but sweet and spontaneous and something that you won't be angry I could really feel like this person once they show up in your in inbox you won't be angry maybe it's a joke yeah it's like look at that look at the face how sweet they are and warm you know there's something funny maybe I could feel that they've disappointed you I really feel like they have disappointed you and they don't mean that they just really want to be dating an open relationship if they when I say open relationship it's just you but they cannot commit yet I think maybe they have fear of commitment but you're you're doing all the basic thing of a relationship but I think to test the water if you're ready for them they're gonna show up somewhere all smile and also this person it's not a coincidence also they will send you a mess they will reach out send you a message and the way they're going to prep or send you the message it feels like um it's funny it's funny like you will not yeah eight of wands i don't think you're gonna get mad at this person yeah look at that nine i think you would drop the angry bird energy i think right now if i you know like right now i feel like you're upset or angry or disappointed but as soon as this person messages you you're all smiles um so look if you have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them you would really really have a deep understanding of where they're coming from it's like a person who they're gonna reach out like this is a person who I don't want to lose you okay um, it so happened that you met me like I'm hearing their thoughts like this person I don't want to lose you but I'm not ready for a commitment but I don't want to lose you I don't want to be angry with you I don't want I don't want I want I want us to have an open communication Okay, like this person I don't want you to be upset or angry with me I don't want to lose you I want us to have an open communication okay and you met me at the point where I just got out from a complicated vibe and I just want to chill and if I'm ready to commit or ready for commitment you're the first person it's like let's be friends let's keep talking okay and there's something sweet that they will do um, but it's hard to resist it's such a sweet person so um don't get attached okay and this is what i have for you guys thank you so much guys for connecting with me thank you so much guys for being here and i'll see you soon again guys you have a great day if you're vibing click the bell click subscribe okay they don't want to lose you they don't want to lose you if they cannot have you as a lover they would like to keep you as a friend because you're an amazing person you know Bye, guys. Take care.